What is up everyone and today we're going to talk about whether the Panigale is comfortable for long rides. Alright guys, so today I rode my uh, Panigale 1299S down to uh, Sarasota from Tampa and it's a good uh, almost hour long ride. I'm on the I-75 so just taking it straight and slow. On the way down I actually took 41 which is more of a scenic route kind of uh, goes parallels the bay. Uh, but this time coming back up, I just wanted to get back earlier and soon. So right now I'll tell you how I feel and that kind of gives you a sense on if it's comfortable or not. Well, I have the uh, Ducati uh, performance seat. It's got a better cushion in it. So that helps on the old bum back there. Uh, I will say my, my right wrist is tired of uh, uh, kind of leaning on it because of the aggressive style of this bike and uh, the pressure of having to hold the throttle this long. One thing I wish the Panigale did have is cruise control. I know that may sound kind of weak and all, but uh, the BMW has it. The S1000RR, why can't the Panigale? Of course, the S1000 I owned uh, didn't have it. It was the year before it came out in 2014. It came out in 2015, I believe. So as far as my back, it actually doesn't hurt too bad. Uh, even though I'm an aggressive style stance, uh, sitting here on my wrist kind of um, it's not that bad like I said most of the um, discomfort is in my wrist just from having to hold the throttle uh, my left wrist actually doesn't hurt that bad nor my palms but the uh, my back feels pretty good uh, my bum feels good as I said for the Ducati performance seat as far as my legs so I'm used to sport bikes and um, to me it's comfortable my feet actually feel pretty comfortable on the pegs I mean yeah every now and then you got to kind of rise up and stretch out if you know what I mean uh, but no biggie and I know people have like actually done long trips across Europe and the US on Panigales they put like the big tank bags on here on the rear seat area seat cow area whatever you want to call it but uh, I don't ever foresee myself going on a super duper long trip on this thing it is not comfortable to go more than like an hour hour and a half tops uh, riding this thing straight without having to stretch your legs. And of course, solo riding is a little different. You get to sit here and kind of think about things and just kind of cruise along. If, but if you're riding with a group or a buddy, you know, you got to kind of be more cautious and aware of each other. Um, so that kind of ties you out more too. So I will say just this relaxing ride that I've got on today, uh, I like it. Um, once again, I'm not too cramped in the legs. My back feels pretty good. Um, this cushion uh, Ducati performance seat feels great. Uh, it's not great for like every day going around town use. Any Panigale is not great for that. But on a long distance trip, I must say I'm impressed. So what's my verdict on whether this is a uh, good bike to have long rides on, the Panigale? Yes and no. Yes, because it's as comfortable as almost every sport bike if you're going long distance. No, because if it was hot, the temperature would be burning your legs like it does for me. Yes, I have my nice Dainese pants on today um, and my Dainese jacket. Uh, and it's 70 degrees. It's a beautiful, perfect day, winter time in Florida here in Tampa. So yeah, it's as comfortable as any other sport bike on long distance. However, I would not ride it if it was summertime or like late spring where the heat would just be unbearable. So on a scale of 1 to 10 to sum it up guys, with all that being said, for long distance rides at Panigale, I will give it a 6. My CBR that I just recently sold would have probably, I would have gave it about an 8. And uh, of course the Harley that I owned a long time ago, I had to give that thing at like a 9.5 out of 10 because that thing was so comfortable. It was like sitting on a recliner. So guys, if you have experience in riding Panigales or any other bike that's similar, sport bikes, etc., let me know your thoughts and comments down below on whether you like long distance riding or what the longest trip you've gone on a sport bike because I'm super interested to hear what you guys say and see the longest trip that you guys have truthfully gone on. And so with that guys, uh, make sure you hit up the Instagram, FireblayPilot underscore, and I'd be thrilled if you'd leave a like on this video and don't mind if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and with that just another beautiful day here in tampa y'all take care ride safe and i'll catch you later